Tom, many congratulations. I'm sure you're happy to have uh, signed a new contract, secured your future for the uh, for the medium term, if you like, at Reading Football Club. Yeah, um, very happy to put pen to paper um, at the club. I've grown up uh, supporting and uh, playing with since the age of eight. So uh, I'm very happy, very grateful that the club um, continue to put their trust in me. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to get going, really. You mentioned that, but in like you, along with forty-eight other boys, have come through our academy and had that name on the on the board downstairs in the uh, near the entrance. You're someone who's grown up in the area, supported the club, so that make, makes it kind of extra special, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's very special. Um, obviously, last year was a bit of a breakthrough year for me, um, and hopefully, I get get more of a chance to show myself and uh, show myself in the first team, and that hopefully, the next few years will give me the chance to do that. And for the club out of sport and yeah, great yeah. sport team. And that's the point really. I think yeah, you had your, your breakthrough, your taste of it, but then the, the sheer bad luck that happens sometimes in football, the injuries cause setbacks sometimes. So most importantly, how are you getting on at the moment? What what's your sort of uh, current situation? Well yeah, I've had a quite a tricky season so far. I had a LCL injury, um, and then when I came back I did something to my groin. Um, but now Touchwood, I'm back for the rest of the season. Um, I had a game on against Sunderland. That was a bit of a disappointing result, but uh, no, it's, I'm feeling good. Um, looking to just get minutes under my belt, really, and show the new gaffer what I can do, what I can bring. I guess that's like football is, he you know, throws the ball sort of challenges and injuries is one of those things that's uh, extremely frustrating, but probably helps strengthen your character to some extent, I suppose. Yeah, definitely. I'm um, still 18, but I've had a fair few injuries. Um, but the physio department here is very good. Um, and I've got through them, so I hope and I've got through a long term injury before, so hopefully I'll be able to show again that I can come back from it with a good character. Mm-hmm. And you know, you've also why in the last few last couple of months we've also seen a couple of boys in a similar positions to you, Gabe Osho, Tom McIntyre, kind of treading the same path that you went through before them, if you like, in, in, in terms of getting to the first team. So it's nice that the Academy's still on the radar so much and there's such that pathway's there for everybody and you know, in the future maybe uh, that's the, the kind of centre half pairings it will be with those boys. Yeah, definitely. I've I've grown up with these uh, players, and I know there's there's definitely many a player in the, in the academy that's good enough to make that step into the team. It's just getting the opportunity, and hopefully the gaffer can see that um, there are players ready to make that step. And it's shown all all um, Tom and Gabe where they played on their debuts were they were class. So um, it just shows that there's there's potential there, and hopefully that as you say there could be there could be a potential back three in the future. <laughs> And lastly, of course, um, as you mentioned, you know you've, uh, you've you've had this kind of setback so far this season, but you've still a few months left to go. What would what would constitute like a successful end to the year for you? Um, well, first and foremost, getting a run of games, um, whether that's twenty threes or first team. But uh, and then after that, it's literally just hopefully train as much with the first team as possible, and uh, just impress the new manager. Really, he hasn't seen much of me so far, so yeah, that would be the that would be the aim.